Hey guys, I have this area down here where I grew tomatoes last year under CFLs, but I want to do something different this year. I'm going to be building a lettuce raft, and I want it lit by uh, four-foot fluorescent bulbs, and I'm going to be using T8 bulbs, which I'm going to overdrive, and it's going to make them twice as bright as a normal T8, and actually brighter than a T5 bulb. And it's going to cost, oh, under $25 or so. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And uh, stay tuned. All right, I'm using the brand from Walmart, Lights of America, model 8045E. And that one is actually only $9.82. And I'm combining it with this one here which was about $15 and that's model 8055SS and I only bought that one because they're out of the cheaper ones and I wanted to get this done but I'll show you the uh, number if you want to call the Walmart by you and see if they have this one in stock if you can see that the UPC number at the bottom just call them up and give them that number see if they have it in stock Okay, these are the bulbs that I'm going to be using. These are T8, and they're uh, 6500K temperature, and they give out 2700 lumens, so um, we're going to overdrive that, and it should double it, and uh, be brighter than a T5 bulb. Okay, just a quick test. I wanted to see how many watts were used before I take it apart, and using a kilowatt, it says I'm using around 57 watts bouncing around that range. Alright, first thing you need to do is remove the end caps from both sides of the fixture and to do that there's little slots. You just take a, a flathead screwdriver, a small one, and then you can see that little nub in there. You just push it down and it'll pop the whole end off and you do that on this side too. And uh, that'll remove the end caps. All right, you can take the uh, ballasted end apart the same way, and it'll just pop off once you loosen the, those uh, nubs and give you access to the ballast. Okay, now to get inside the end caps, it's a little bit tricky. They're kind of stubborn, but you can see right there there's a little hole, and on this side there's also a little hole. I can point to it here, right there, and. Uh, Looking on this side, you can see there's a little clip in there on the end. And what you do is you take a little flathead screwdriver and you can pop that clip. And there's one on this side too. And it takes a little bit of working, but it can be done in a couple minutes. And once you do one, you can do the others pretty fast. All right, I got it open, and you can actually see the little plastic hook clips. That you have to pop. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, but you'll get it. And a little bit of forcing. There's one on this side too. You can see it right there. And there's the open ballast. Okay, now what we're going to do is take the red wire and the black wire from this side and combine them with the black wire and the red wire from this side. And that's easy to do. These uh, wires are locked in there, but if you push like a, I don't know, a, I'm using a piece of stiff wire here down in the slot and yank on the wire, it'll pop out. Uh, you can use a finishing nail probably, but uh, it comes right out. And then we're just going to combine red to red, black to black in these holes over here. And do the same on the other ballast. Okay, here's what the finished product should look like red to red, black to black. So if you do that, you're fine. Okay, and on this ballast I did the same thing. Red to red, black to black. And this model actually has a pull switch, heat uh, chain switch. And I don't really care about that since I'm going to have everything on a timer anyway. Alright, now you need to remove the wires from the opposite end cap. That's the end cap without the ballast. And you're going to want to do the same way, push a 
sturdy wire into the hole while yanking on the wire and uh, do that for all the wires and they pop right out really easy. Okay, now we're going to connect the red, yellow, and black wires on the opposite side. And you can see that right here. And what I found is that there's little holes that we can run the wires through. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, there you can see how I fed the wires through. You might need to pull the uh, one with two wires with uh, pliers because it's a little tight fit, but uh, now to connect them to the opposite receptacle. Okay, now you connect the yellow and red wire to the middle hole, or the inside hole, and the black wire to the outside hole, and then we're going to reassemble the end cap here. Okay, I have both end caps on, both ballasts, and what I need to do is cut the middle steel plate that covers the wires, because now that we have a ballast at both ends, it's too long. So I measured between the ballasts, and it turned out to be 37 inches. So I'm just going to take a hacksaw and cut my middle plate to 37 inches. Okay, I cut the plate, and it fits perfectly in there and you can see it's all back together. Okay, I put the bulbs in and it's time to test it out and as you can see there is a electrical cord at both ends and you have to plug them both in. Some of you might be creative and combine them as one and rewire it but it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to have everything on a timer. So let's see this thing go switch. There we go. That is definitely twice as bright as it was before. And over here, <laughs> it's adjusting. The kilowatt says 107 watts. Okay, here's the complete fixture from the top side view. And it's silver, has a white cap on one end and a black cap at the opposite end. And these are all my spare parts that I didn't need from the other fixture. And you can avoid the waste, but I'm going to use these things for other projects, I'm sure. But if you wanted to, you can order a ballast online for about seven bucks from Sun Park Electronics. Um, actually the ballast you would want is item number SL15T and that's at Sun Park and that'd be actually better if you're going to do like a four bulb ballast or a four bulb fixture because you'd save a lot of money instead of buying a bunch of fixtures to tear ballasts out of. <clears throat> anyway, uh, there's some drawbacks to overdriving it gives off more heat, so you have to keep the lights further away from your plants. And it reduces bulb life, so I'd recommend changing the bulbs every 12 months. But uh, they're more energy efficient, the T8 bulbs are. And the T8 bulbs also contain less mercury than T12 bulbs, so I'd recommend using T8s. But you can still overdrive T12s just as easily as T8s. Um, I guess that's about it. So, uh, good luck with your inventions and uh, keep growing. <laughs>